Aquas. Welcome back to my channel, Infinitely Guided Tarot. My name is CJ. Hi, Aquas. How are you? I'm wishing you all love, life, blessings, and peace during this time for you and your families. I'm hoping you're well, you're healthy, and you're safe. I also want to say thank you so much. Thank you for all of your love, all of your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. So this is going to be your love message for April 2020, Aqua. So, um, Cross Watcher, you're also welcome here. As we know, tarot is energy. It can speak to your past, your present, or your future. Roles can be reversed, flip flop, or transposed, okay? Don't hold on to anything that doesn't serve you, okay? If it does not resonate, let it go. But if you have been guided to this channel to watch this video, there is a message in it for you. Um, don't hold on to the zodiac signs or the gender. We all can harness any of these energies at any given moment, okay? So, with that being said, yeah, we have the sun here. Okay, so we have the star. The star, this is the hope card in the psychic tarot. It's a 17 that breaks down to an 8. It's a very auspicious card. It's it's the, it's the star card, okay? Um, hope, it speaks of healing. It speaks of having faith. It speaks of remembering who you are, right? It's like your guiding light, okay? Because this is the Aquarian card, the star card. Everything we need is already within us, right? I don't know if you can see the person inside of the star here. You are, you could be a guiding light for someone else. There may be someone around you who is providing you hope, okay? Who is um, encouraging you to have faith, okay? Um, some of you have been doing work on yourself and you've been opening your crown chakra, you've been opening your third eye and you're receiving the download here, okay? That guiding star, right? that hope, the wish fulfillment. Somebody is getting ready to have their wishes come true, okay? Um, as I mentioned, tarot is energy, but there is a wish that you have um, asked for, and you may receive that wish soon with the hope card here, okay? It's crowned by the partnership and alliances card, yeah, so there may be someone who is giving you uh, a leg up, so to speak, or you may be helping someone else out here, okay? Maybe you're hoping, your wish is to collaborate with someone, okay? in whatever goals that is that you have. This is a love message. It may be that um, there is someone in your midst who wants to collaborate with you, who wants to union with you, okay? And there may be someone you have your eyes on that you want to, uh, there may be someone whom you want to, that you have your eyes on, that you want to collaborate with on a more personal level here, with the green here being the heart chakra, right? And the orange here being the sacral chakra is what you want. Somebody wants this, okay? They've been hoping, they've been praying, they've been keeping faith. Um, they've been working on themselves. They've been coming up with a plan is what I see here. Um, others of you, along with this wish, uh, wishful thinking, this positive energy you've gone within with the solitude card which is the hermit card you've gone within to look back and reflect on everything that you've been through in your journey here there may be something that you're going through right now there may be some obstacles that you have to um that you have to get over or get through and you will um, it's important that you take time out for yourself. It's important that you uh, don't hold on to any other uh, energies here. It's important that you uh, reserve and conserve your energy um, and look within so that you can come up with the solutions that you need so that you can see yourself, see your way forward here. There's another star here in this card. There's only one star, which I feel like that is your guiding light. Like I said, there is going to be a wish that... Um, you or someone who you are energetically connected to, um, there's a wish coming through here, okay? There may be some obstacles that have to be uh, bared or um, conquered, but you will, okay? With the conflict and defeat card here, I feel like you see all of these um, inner energies here, right? I don't know if you can see that. There are like, this is mental energies, okay? Um, it's the crown chakra. Uh, some of you are um, contemplating, overthinking, okay? Or again, roles can be reversed, right? But there's somebody who is contemplating, overthinking, and because, like, this is going down the rabbit hole, okay? 
It's overthinking. It's overanalyzing. It's a five. It speaks of change. Maybe, um, you know, someone doesn't see how they can make this dream happen, this uh, wish, this goal, this love, right? This connection, this union. Someone doesn't see how they can make it happen here because of the circumstances, right? Because of their circumstances, they're starting to feel defeated, okay? But there is a light here. There's a light here, okay? All you have to do is get out of your head, reflect within and know that, um, you know, sometimes we can be our own worst enemy, right? We come up with all of these ideas and once we start to think about uh, dissecting those ideas and making them come into fruition and we hit a brick wall, we start to go down a rabbit hole. That's not what is required here, okay? Because there is a wish fulfillment that's going to be um, given to you in regards to this firm foundation that someone is trying to create. Okay, so this could speak to our jobs, it could speak to a relationship, it could speak to romance or non-romantic partnerships here, okay? But somebody wants a firm foundation, and they're going within to try to figure out the way through and past these obstacles here. There may be someone who's giving you a helping hand here, or vice versa, right? And here is that sacral chakra card here. <clears throat> it's a number two, it speaks of balance, right? Balancing yourself through this change. Balance is required um, for whomever is going through this mental anxiety here. Okay? Hold on for the, the sirens here. So this sacral chakra, right? The color is orange. So perhaps you can wear orange um, and work on your sacral chakra. <clears throat> okay? Um, the word or the sound is vam. Vam, V A M. Okay. It also it speaks of the water signs, right? This is about what our soul wants, right? And from what I see here, you want patience and planning. You want to plan something here. You 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 have an idea. There's a goal here in mind, and the goal may again speak to. You know, finances, it could speak to the job, it could speak to a partnership, it could speak to family because the sacral chakra is, you know, the testicles and the ovaries here. But there is some type of plan that um, your soul wants. There's a goal that you want to reach here and you will. You just have to go within, reflect, know that everything that you desire, all the powers is all within you right here, okay? Um, just as the universe may the stars with the energies that create the stars and the planets. That's the same energy that we have within ourselves, okay? We have that within ourselves. So there's always, you know, hope. There's always um, an opportunity to create what we want, right? As above, so below. Whatever we feel and think, it becomes our reality. So you don't want to hold on to this conflict and defeat. You want to embrace hope, you want to embrace faith. You want to align yourself with spirit. Sit and meditate, right? In solitude, sit and meditate um, and allow for the energies to come through to you, okay? Now, we hope we have the Five of Cups here. Holy Spirit, please give more information and clarify the cards on the table for my Aqua Baby, Summer Rise and Venus people. In regards to love, Holy Spirit, this is a love message for my Aquas. For April 2020 and anyone who has been guided to the channel thank you Holy Spirit thank you spirit guides thank you yeah so we have the five of cups here over the hope card now that's the star card I feel like someone still has two cups in their heart of hearts for you and they're hoping right that you still feel the same for them okay i feel like they're regretful or you are right roles can be reversed here okay but is someone looking at the past is someone looking at um the cups that have spilled over here and because it's over it's clarifying the hope card i feel like someone is strategizing but they don't know if you may feel the same way. You see how the water is choppy here? You see how uh, the water is choppy and then we have the mountains in the background. So there was definitely um, some sadness 
that happened in a past relationship. But someone has a new idea. Someone has a new offer, okay? Someone's going to turn around, right? Someone's going to turn around. See the two cups that are left behind them, right? Pick up the two cups that they have for you and decide to, you know, make an offer that has the possibility for a stable, grounded, you know, commitment here. They're going to speak their truth, right? This Ace of Swords is about clear, sharp communication. It's also about the truth, okay? It's uh, the sort of truth. With the crown on the top, it's like they've made a decision. They've chosen whom they want to be with here. They have a dream. Like the Page of Pentacles for me is a dream card, okay? Um, but someone is very hopeful that uh, when they come towards you with this communication, right? Some of you may be receiving, uh, definitely are going to receive some sort of communication, but it will be based on, um, you know, the truth here. Perhaps someone will contact you and you will give them your truth, right? Yeah. We have the four swords over the uh, solitude card. So again, solitude is about the hermit, okay? It's the hermit card. So you have two uh, major arcanas back to back here. But with the four of swords, it's like um, someone taking their sword of truth here after resting, after praying, after uh, some solitude, some rest. They want to come forth and give you the truth. Now, for others of you, the person who's coming in to give you the truth, here you are healing, here you are uh, reflecting. And just when you least expect it, boom, there's a conversation that comes towards you here. More information, Holy Spirit. Why are these here? For my aqua babies. For April 2020, Holy Spirit. April 2020. More information, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because they want to um, unite with you, right? Someone here has a plan, and they want to reunite with you. They want to reunite with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want a union with you, okay? More information, Holy Spirit. Some of you, for others of you, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Someone wants to unite with you because, um, you know, they want to give to you, right? They want to give to you, okay? They want to give to you. For, <clears throat> for others of you, this is about um, someone uh, moving past this uh, disappointment, standing in their truth, looking within, um, praying and working on themselves, okay? Praying and working on themselves here. Um, knowing what it is that they want, which is... They want someone who is going to give equal reciprocity to themselves here. Yeah, see? I really feel like, okay. Someone wants, someone's been dreaming, thinking, praying for this reunion with you, okay? They finally want to give to you, okay? They finally want to give to you, but they're up in their head because they feel like they don't know how to bring this into fruition. Right? With the overthinking feeling uh, defeated here. But someone definitely wants to come in and give you, uh, have a conversation with you and tell them your truth about how they feel because they're in their feelings about this ending and they need to find the strength within themselves. But this is spirit for me also. But someone needs to find the strength within themselves to come forward and speak their truth here. Okay? Then we have the sun, the queen, uh, the ace of pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands, which tells me that this person may be single or they see you as single. They see you as they're happy, happy. They see you as single. They have a huge offer that they want to give you. But this is also the universe providing you with um, a potential long term new beginning. But someone may be single and blocking them or someone may be, uh, may be you know. Stand offish, like, uh, I already did that, okay? I want something new. You hurt me, I want something new. But others of you, this is someone being courageous enough to step to you after what they have done, 
okay? This is somebody being courageous enough after what they have done. I just want to put a love card on this. I'm doing something different this, this month. I'm going to put a love card on this because I feel like <clears throat> that's what I'm being guided to do. Holy Spirit, put a love card on this spread for my aqua, some of my business people for the top spread. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As you reveal your innermost selves to one another, your bond deepens. Yeah, somebody wants to come in, deepen the bond, clear the air. Another card, Holy Spirit. April 2020 for my lovely aquas. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a communication given to you presented to you stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay now let's move down to the next over here we have partnerships alliances firm foundation cycle chakra and patience and planning let's see let's use another deck here holy spirit why are these cards here for my aqua baby This wanted to pop out. Ten of Cups. That's what you want. It fell right on top of the sacral chakra here. So I feel like uh, there's definitely uh, emotional fulfillment. Wow, these cards are just popping out while I'm shuffling. Okay. Then we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, someone coming in, giving, uh, having a conversation about what they want. That's what this is about. Someone coming in, someone plotting and planning, and but because, you know what? It's so crazy because we're in the social distancing, right? And everything is shut down and things like that. And I feel like this person is in their head because they've been plot, plotting and planning, but you know that they took so long, and now look at the circumstances that they have to face. These are the obstacles, right? Holy Spirit, what's this partnerships and alliances about? Someone coming in, telling their truth, speaking their truth to you about what it is that they want which i feel like it is you or you may be doing this to someone else um aqua okay this could be a new person here okay this knight of wands energy came out over partnerships and alliances this is um someone actively taking uh someone is taking action to give you a helping hand or you are doing that with someone else you're providing a, a helping hand to someone oh these are way too many cards holy spirit Fewer cards, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Okay. Page of Pentacles, it's the dream card again. This is um, over the partnerships and alliances. This is someone moving, right? Moving towards this initial idea. Someone has an idea about um, these cards are flying. Someone has an ideal. Okay. So this was the Seven of Clubs upside down. So we have the Hierophant, right? Someone has an ideal about. Uh, perhaps marriage, right? Someone has an ideal about um, a traditional uh, a traditional foundation, okay? Um, and they've made up their mind. They're not, they're not confused about this at all. They know that this is what they want. This will be their 10 of cups, their emotional fulfillment. And someone wants to come in and present this ideal, but they may say it harshly, uh, like, they're only going to talk about what they want, what they want, how they feel, right? And sometimes that can be very, you know, irate. We have the Tower and the Seven of Wands. So, yeah, somebody, after a Tower moment, they want to come in. They've been making a plan, okay? They've been having a plan, going through this over and over again in their head to the point that it's like, dude, or, you know, woman, you haven't made up your mind, and now... With everything going on in the world, now you want to come through and tell me, you know, how you feel. It may be through a phone call. It may be in person, you know. But there was an ending. I'm telling you, we have the Ace of Wands here as a passionate new beginning. Um, and it's over the patience and planning, okay. So, you know, for others of you, this is somebody, you know, new. This is a new energy coming in toward you um, or you to someone else. And it has the potential for long-term stability, okay? Someone is going to move on this, okay? Yeah, see? The Ten of Swords in reverse. Laying down the burdens. Laying down the burdens here. 
laying down um, what has happened to this person, the thoughts of, you know, what has happened in the past, letting all of that go, okay? One more card, Holy Spirit, for my office. These cards are flying and there's too many, Holy Spirit. One more card. Thank you. So we have the Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning. Like I said, for some of you up here, someone is coming back. Um, down here, there's a brand new love, okay? And in the beginning, it may not seem like it. This may be a person who is, you know, helping you, okay? Who's helping you with your plans. Um, helping you to, you know, create. Helping you monetarily, helping you in some shape, form, fashion, helping you stay encouraged, okay? They're making someone feel really good here. Um, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like they're going to come towards you and tell you what they want, which is a brand new, you know, a passionate new start with you. You know, let's let's take this thing to the next level, I feel. Um, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you're not, you know, you're not holding on to what has happened to you in the past. Um, you're giving yourself self-love, okay? With this sacral chakra, some of you have may have been working on yourselves through this time. You know, we had the super pink moon yesterday and it's still going on today. You're working on yourselves. You're figuring out what your soul purpose is, what you truly want. You're letting everything else fall by the wayside. Um, and the vision is coming into you, right? And somebody is helping you along this way here, okay? Helping you plant the seeds, right? Maybe helping you build up the seeds that you've already planted, right? This is the seven, so we go to the eight. It's going to take hard work, but you're going to be able to do it here. And with the king of swords, he's very strategic, right? Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the love card on this? On the choppers, someone likes and Venus people. What is the love card on this? For the choppers, someone likes and Venus people. Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah, had children at the bottom of the deck, and that might be that someone is uh, bringing some childlike energy towards you. Calling in your soulmate. Yazu, darling. Okay? Working on that heart chakra. Working on that um, um, crown chakra. Working on that sacral chakra. Working on that solar plex. Calling in your soulmate. Manifesting exactly what it is that you want, darling. Okay? Okay, you want collaboration with someone who is going to give you equal give and take. You're letting go of all things that don't serve you. You are very clear on what it is you want, what is going to bring you your emotional fulfillment, your ten of cups, along with some passion. But we all know that self-love is the best love, and I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're working on that. There's somebody brand new here that sees you for who you are, and I feel like they're going to be ready to just go ahead and invest in you, darling. Okay. Someone is locked. One more card for the bottom, Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Love yourself first. And that is exactly what you guys are doing. Okay? You're loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted. I love it for you, Aquarius. Okay? I just want to put on one or two. I should say two. Power of love cards leave you to something special and fantabulous for yourselves. Gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents you. Gratitude. Joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Joy. Joy. Yaz. Aquarius, this is what I have for you, darlings. Continue to love on yourself. Continue to work on yourself. Everything is going to fall into your favor. Continue to have faith. Continue to have love. Continue to do what you're doing, darlings. I love you so much. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. And until next time, please take care of yourself and others. Namaste.